Thanks for sticking with us here at 630. Our state is still recovering from the impacts of the pandemic, especially economically. I mean, positions were eliminated. Some businesses even called it quits altogether. Yeah, our state's Department of Workforce Solutions reps, however, are saying that we're actually rebounding by the tune of around 50,000 jobs, and that's just as of last month. Brittany Costello has a look at the numbers, telling two different stories here. That job growth is comparing February 2021 to last month. So pandemic levels to what we're seeing now. And those jobs are not necessarily new jobs, but jobs returning. Officials with the state say it's a good sign, but acknowledge there's more work to be done. The Department of Workforce Solution reports more jobs are returning. A more than 50,000 increase this February when compared to last. What we're measuring in this particular year is that bounce back by the industry sector uh, when they achieve employment levels um, that we saw pre-pandemic. Acting Secretary for the Department of Workforce Solutions, Ricky Cerna, says our state has not reached pre-pandemic job levels yet, but more jobs are returning. I'm glad we're adding jobs, I really am, but we need to take a serious look at where New Mexico is and figure out how we can do better. Carla Sontag, president of the New Mexico Business Coalition, says that good news is overshadowed by the fact New Mexico has the worst unemployment rate in the nation at almost 6%. Are these, you know, jobs just sitting there for people uh, to take, yep. essentially? Right. Yeah, I think, first of all, Brittany, is we, we have work to do. There's no question, right, that, uh, you know, we're celebrating this job growth year over year as being you know, among the highest in the nation, but we have work to do. Work they are doing, offering programs and job training to help place employees with employers. What we've got to do is close the gap between the available jobs and the available workers. And in some instances, that's helping them overcome some, some fundamental barriers that are keeping them from going back to work. But Sontag wants to see more done to get New Mexicans back to work. I think Almost every industry is trying to hire and having a challenging time. So some of the key factors that we're looking at is the amount of government assistance, and that's beyond unemployment. The state has set up a website to help prospective employees find jobs, education, or even training. It's called ReadyNM. We have more information on that on our website, KOB.com. Reporting downtown, Brittany Costello, KOB4.